Good evening and welcome to the programme. Tonight's programme is all about the NV electoral system and we've got a very special guest to explain it to us. Hello, I'm McKinney. I'm here to explain to you the benefits of the NV electoral system. Yes, and what does NV actually mean? NV stands for not voting or nobody voting, take your pick. Not voting is used in many parts of the world, places like Saudi Arabia and Bahrain, and has a rich and colourful history. Did you know that over the centuries most people have not voted? And how does it work? Actually, it works without you having to do anything. Just relax and let the NV system take its course. Did you know that in many AV, actually voting, systems, you're expected to make an X sign on a piece of paper every five years or so? This can involve making as many as two diagonal movements. Where did it come from? I'm a king, so listen to me. I'm a king because my pa was a king and my ma was a queen. Like this. No, but where did it really come from? Are you still here? Well, we used to say that the monarchy was ordained by God Almighty. But nowadays that kind of talk makes a lot of people feel uneasy. So we're a bit vague about the origins of envy just in case it involves people hitting each other. But what are the benefits of NV? It's familiar, easy to understand and has deep roots in history. My family loves it. It gives everybody one less thing to think about. Are there any problems with NV? You just keep coming back, don't you? Well, there are people who say that you can't really represent a nation if you're not chosen by the nation. They say that the hereditary system is fundamentally undemocratic and supports a secretive and unaccountable executive branch of government, and that spending a fortune on sustaining the lavish lifestyle of just one family is just unfair. These people talk too much. I call them the chattering classes. Are there any alternatives to NV? There are countries in the world that elect their own head of state. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. Countries like France, Germany, the USA, Finland, Mexico, India, Ireland, Algeria, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Cameroon, Chad, Croatia, Estonia, Lithuania, Poland, Slovenia, Senegal, Greece, and many, many others. Hang on, you're squeezing me down a bit here. Now I've gone and sat on my bloody scepter. In fact, isn't using NV to produce a head of state pretty much lining up on the losing side of history? Isn't the whole concept of sovereignty as a family business incompatible with the first principles of popular sovereignty? The idea that all power derives from and should return to the people. No wonder people have difficulty believing we're modern democracy as long as we put up with an NV figurehead without a mandate. I knew it was a mistake letting you serfs vote for anything. Even the bloody X Factor is a vote too far if you ask me. Once you guys start thinking for yourself, there's no stopping you. Hang on, you can't just marginalise us all. We're the people, and you can't simply ignore the public debate just because you were born royal. Oh, can't I? Just you bloody watch me. And finally... One more great thing about NV. It guarantees stable employment for the likes of me. Keeps me off the streets. After all, can't really see me flipping burgers for a living, can you?